So it's, it's sort of epicentering there. And because of that localization you're talking about, it's like inflammation can also be localized. I, I think sometimes we look at things as... Yes, the body has this whole matrix of everything that works together, and that's certainly the case. But I think we also sometimes discount there's a little bit of um, independent nature with each organ too, right? Like, um, I mean, I, I think that you're almost suggesting, hey, this fat surrounds the heart, and it can impact the heart, and you may have a perfectly fine liver, right? It's just because of this localization of it, maybe it's harder to trace, harder to look at in the typical. Level. It shows up first. That's a very good observation comment. Um, the fat around the heart shows up long before fatty liver disease. Yeah. By the time fatty, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, uh, are the, new, the newer, the newer uh, terms being used to, to describe uh, basically uh, lipogenesis, fatty deposition within the liver, it's, it's, it's got a variety of different terms to ch try to draw importance to it now uh, instead of just distinguishing it from alcohol. Uh, this fat is uh, downstream to this particular fat here. And so uh, you, you really want to start looking at the, the structural disease as soon as it happens, the earliest phase, and not down the road when you now have fat, fatty liver, or obviously when you have, uh, you have a heart attack. So you want to capture this early, and uh, it's really important. 